It's important to understand the actual motivations for Washington's long hate campaign against Iran. It is not really about nuclear power or military capability. When the tyrant Shah ruled Iran before the Islamic Revolution, the country was basically a U.S. colony. U.S. companies sold Shah massive quantities of weapons and even had contracts to build nuclear power plants there, just as they supply unending uh, quantities of weapons to the racist state of Israel today. In return, the Shah dutifully parked the country's oil revenues in U.S. banks. U.S. sanctions and war threats against Iran are part of a long war the United States has been waging since the first Bush administration to restore the monopoly U.S. companies once had on the world's oil reserves, energy reserves. That war cannot be won. This is not 1953. There is a struggle going on now in Washington over what course to pursue. Senator Murphy speaks for those who fear Europe and the rest of the world will go ahead and trade with Iran on their own and that U.S. companies will be shut out, will be the losers. But there are powerful forces who want to not only continue the sanctions but escalate to war.